Good day YouTube. Warbles on a lot here. I was on my way back from the deep water dump and I've dropped in at deep water brewing and I've sampled their wares and I decided to stop up here on top of the hill above Rangers Valley Dam to have a go at a full 360 degree panorama because when I got here and tried taking a back bearing from here to my place in the hope of putting the eight power binoculars onto the front of the five power zoom lens on the phone camera and seeing if I could get a bit of a view of my place from here it turns out you can't see my place from here there is intervening high terrain however as I've already said earlier today in a video don't you ever let a chance go by so now we'll try that same pan at five powers as I walk around the tripod which is actually perched on top of a rock. And the rock is kind of convoluted and cracked. There was once a time when this was considered the largest privately owned dam in the Southern Hemisphere. And the local farmer used to let the local aquatic club come out here and I think Saturdays were speedboats and Sundays were sailing boats. But then the place was sold to a Japanese based multinational. And for a while, the aquatic clubs continued. And there was a motorbike club set up a track out here too. And with four surrounding clubs, Every fifth week, there'd be a big meeting of high-speed motorcyclists, aged of about four to 60 or 74. But eventually the various clubs realized that whoever was the office bearers of the club could be at law responsible for any negligence or damages claims arising from any accidents with speedboats or sailing boats or motorbikes and in the fullness of the time all of those clubs folded up and ceased to be a thing because nobody wanted to be the office bearers and there weren't enough club members to pay the insurance. So, biggest privately owned dam in the Southern Hemisphere, if it still is. And all it is, is water for a feed. Warbles on a lot to YouTube. You thought I was joking, didn't you? Yeah.